Again, this is Jason with one more video for EEM 171 codes and installation. And we're going to be looking at one of the easiest projects that you have to wire. Um, one device here is all that's needed. Um, and this is a dryer receptacle. Okay, this method would also apply to a stove. Okay, if you had an electric stove to wire, that, this would be the same method for that. Very simple to do. Um, in the center here, there's a screw that you would remove first, okay, which I've already done that. Pull the cover off. Okay. And you have four connections here. Okay. So with this device, you need 240 volts which means you need two hot wires okay so we will be using the 14 3 wire to do this okay which has your hot ground neutral and second hot wire okay now with this device you do not make any hook connections okay typically with this device you will be using very large wire, um, size 10 or bigger, okay? So the bigger the wire size, the harder it is to work with, okay? So pretty much impossible to make hooks with that big a wire. So these actually will just slide up underneath here, okay? You can see right there where the screw actually goes down and clamps against the wire to make a connection okay and if you loosen these up all the way so you got room to actually slide in the wires okay so again you see the color code you know how this works so you got two brass screws, that's for your two hots, green screw for ground, and silver screw for neutral. Okay. So loosen up this connector here. Here is that one stripped out. Okay, we'll make it work though. This is a small wire, so. Okay. So, just need to make sure I get everything going where it's supposed to be. So. My hot connections are further back than the ground and neutral. So I'm going to need to trim these down. Okay. And for the sake of time, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm actually just going to pull these wires back through the case, or back through the Romex, I should say. And normally you wouldn't be able to do that, but I'm cheating a little bit. Just for the sake of time. Okay. But you would need to adjust the wires so that everything fits where it should. Okay. On the ground over here. Okay. You just want to make sure everything's under the screw okay, again not too much where you have insulation under the screw but enough to where it's making a solid connection okay, so that's my red my first hot black wire my other hot wire Yeah. 
Another useful application of your needle nose. Helps you maneuver these wires in. Okay, give them a little snug, be sure they're tied up under there, and that's it. Put our cover back on, mount it to the wall, and test, be sure it's operating, okay? And before you ask, we do not have a dryer to actually plug into this, okay? So we're basically just going to take a multimeter and read voltage okay so you'll read each hot to ground hot to neutral hot to neutral and then hot to hot okay which in here hot to hot is going to read 208 everything else will read 120 okay and again i mentioned this in the other video but i'll go ahead and point it out again the panel you will be using the double pole breaker okay because you have your two hots for your black wire and red wire and okay, so just keep that in mind but again very simple project the easiest one you'll have to do all semester okay very straightforward just remember no hooks with this you just slide your wires right up under the screws and tighten them down okay so that's it for project four, which is the dry receptacle, 240 volt receptacle circuit. And that's all for now.